guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today we're going to be talking about Shazam. All right, so Shazam is the newest film from DC. It's not trying to lean into the Justice League thing. It's its own little standalone film, and I really like that about it. Yeah, I really like that aspect of it. You know it's, you know, Batman and Superman take place in this universe, but he's a completely different character, and it's just, he's just there. Yeah, and it's his origin story. It's learning how Billy got his powers, who he is, what Shazam is, what it means, and it's, it's basically just an origin of Shazam. And it's just a fun movie. It's not super serious. It doesn't feel like it's trying to build a universe around it like other superhero films. It's kind of its own standalone thing. So I really like Zachary Levi in this movie as Shazam. He always has like this charisma about him. And he has a funny sense of humor. And I really enjoy that. And yeah, he's just like that superhero guy. He's got that built to him. Yeah, he, he looks like a superhero. It's like kind of how I feel about Henry Cavill. Mm -hmm. Like he just looks like a superhero. And after watching, if you watch the second season of Marvelous Miss Maisel, that's why I kind of really appreciate Zachary Levi. I never watched Chuck, so like I didn't be like, oh, I've always wanted him. He's always been that side character in Thor. He's never been somebody I really focused on. He has been entangled, so there See, we go. See, I didn't know that. So this is the first time I've seen him on the big screen been like, that Zachary Levi, this is my thoughts on him. And I thought, yeah, he was pretty good. I feel like the story of Shazam, though, is your typical like superhero origin story. It it's kind of slow leading up to him becoming who he is in the movie yeah it, it suffers from that thing where mm -hmm. you have origin stories where you got to take a good quarter of the film just laying out what their powers are how they got them like the origins of it if it looks pretty good i don't mm -hmm. think it looked amazing like i don't think the cgi was amazing in this movie but it's your standard superhero stuff yeah i i feel like it he didn't besides some scenes it didn't I didn't feel like it relied so much. Everything was a CGI. Yeah, it, it doesn't. But it has that Man of Steel thing. Because yeah. he is kind of like Superman in the way he moves around. Mm -hmm. And you do get that elastic -y look when he's being bounced around and flying yeah. and stuff. But I really don't think there's any way around that. But yeah, CGI was okay. Uh, the villain in this film is, you know, he's a bad guy. <laughs> so Mark Strong plays the bad guy in this movie. And I feel like he's, he just has that bad guy quality. Like he looks like a bad guy. He talks like a bad guy. And he's just that standard evil person that wants all the power and wants to take over the world. And he has this chip on his shoulder. And yeah, he doesn't really bring a lot to a table. He doesn't have layers to him. Mm -hmm. No, there's no layers at all. He's just, a, he's just mean and he just wants power. Yeah. And that's it. So that's, that's, a, that's Villa. Yeah, and the only way that that works in this movie a little bit more than some other movies is it's playing off of Shazam's character where he's like the reluctant hero. Yeah. So you have the hardcore villain that's like he is a villain but then you have shazam who's a hero but he's not so their interactions like him treating shazam almost like he is this superhero when he's not has yeah. it's kind of a funny back and forth every once in a while with those two also it was it was kind of odd because like you see shazam and zachary levi and he's like this big buff built guy but then in reality he's supposed he's a kid so that was kind of weird well, yeah he would have, like, kid thoughts, and, like, he wouldn't be talking like he's Superman, you know? It's It was kind of weird. I kept forgetting that. See, I, see, I guess because I went into it knowing that that's the character. Uh -huh. Like, I never found it really strange, because that's the comedy of the film. And speaking of the comedy of the film, I actually thought it would be a lot funnier than it was. Yeah, I thought it would be funnier. Um, and I feel like a lot of the scenes that were could have been funny were in the trailer. Yeah, you do get a lot of the big laughs in the movie are already in the trailer, which I was disappointed yeah, in. Yeah, so I was a little upset about that. But other than that, like, I like the family dynamic that happens in the film. Basically, you know, Billy trying, you know, figure out, you know, who his family is. And that's, like, a very good core group. And, like, the ending, it brings it all together. And it's just, you know. Yeah, I thought that the family aspect of the movie was the strongest part of it. Going into it, I thought it would have been in the comedy. But leaving, it's kind of that heart of the film. It's them these foster children coming together and realizing what family really is and i thought that was really good and i thought that was like i said the strongest point of the film all right so i'd give this movie a seven out of ten i feel like i've been getting, like, giving out a lot of sevens recently there hasn't been ones that are just like you gotta go see that one but <laughs> this one is good to see in the theaters it's your action movie it's your super superhero movie zachary levi is good as shazam and you know like i said he has all the charisma in the world the story is your super, it's a superhero story. Pretty standard fare. Stand, it's standard. But, you know, I'm happy that DC is kind of moving in a different direction and trying to find their, like, core DC film vibe. And I really appreciate that. I'm glad we're going in a different direction. I can see it 
going up from now. <laughs> All right, so if I were to rate it, I would also give it a 7 out of 10. I think it's a fine movie. I think I was maybe expecting a little more from it. I think I left the theater slightly disappointed. Not that it was bad or anything. But I do, like Noel said, I do like seeing that DC's trying all these different kinds of movies. It doesn't feel like the DC of, you know, five years ago where everything had to be super serious and super dark. They're trying to be more fun, add a little more lightheartedness to the, the whole DC brand. I just want to point, say one last thing. Like, I'm happy they're not continue building this, like, huge universe. Like, I don't feel like they needed to do that at all at first because... A lot of these characters, characters, like, we don't know of, and I think it's great that they're just doing up standalone, and then you see that, you know, Batman, Superman, they're all they're all in the same universe, but they're not, you know, it's like its own yeah, little story. I would say that, too, because I think Marvel and the MCU work so well, because a lot of these characters, honestly, I think people didn't know about, and they love having this interweb, and it's so complicated, and Marvel does such a fantastic job with it. But DC, it feels very standalone. I mean, we have our crossovers, obviously, in the comics, but I feel like people love Batman. People love Superman. We don't necessarily need them together. The characters on their own can carry franchises, and I'm glad that they're kind of going that route, and I hope they continue to go that going forward. Yeah. So this sums up our review of Shazam. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought about the movie. Did you like it? What does it rank into the recent DC movies, like Aquaman, Wonder Woman? I don't know. Justice League, throw that in there. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. See ya.